Hello to everyone, listeners and subscribers. I'm here once again. And this time I would like to speak on the culture of political correctness. Or I should say the hyperfeminization of society. And here's what I have to say about it. I despise it. Let me break this down. I'm broke. I'm black and male. So I'm supposed to be in this book specific political crowd or stance or whatever I'm not because I have too much common sense and I very much am a fan of just being objective and looking at reality not looking at everything based on my emotions or based on what position I'm in or what circumstance I'm in I look at reality so this constantly being offended by stuff is getting really annoying and stupid and it's making the current society increasingly pathetic Here's what I mean. When you look at humanity for about just short of 200,000 years, human beings have done this. We have built societies, hunted for food, extinct to certain animals, built empires, created agriculture, mastered metallurgy, understood medicine, created a whole bunch of amazing things ever since then within the 200 thousand years of existence. Two, we also face a lot of hardship in 200,000 years of existence. We face things like famine, drought, hurricanes, wars, water shortages, disease, meteorite strikes, slavery, torrential rains, plagues, massive die-offs of species, massive die-offs of humans, Masses of dead bodies that have to be dumped in mass graves just because there's so many dead people in to begin with, like the bubonic plague is an example. Stillborn babies, accidents, animal attacks. There's too, there's too many things to name that human beings have gone through that were very intense. They're very traumatic, but we got through it anyway. Three. Despite this. Today's society wants to bitch and moan about silly little things like, what do you call somebody's hair? Locks or dreadlocks? More and more people can't laugh at jokes, and more and more people, especially women, seem to want to control how you speak to them and what you're able to say. Four. Here's the thing. I've said this before, I think I've said this at least once in an older video, and I'm going to say it again. You as an adult human being, you have control over yourself and your reactions to things that you encounter. You don't have control over those things. You, can't, you can control how you respond to me, but you can't control me or what I do to you or, what, or anything else that I do with my life. And you're not supposed to. So stop trying. Stop trying to control me. Stop trying to control people. Stop trying to micromanage how everyone treats you. You can't do that. You're wasting your time. How about this? You grow a backbone and some thicker skin. And why should you do this? Well, it's my estimation that if you were to do this, especially the women on these stupid college campuses, it's much easier on everyone it's overall cheaper for the society, and it ends up making you and everyone around you a stronger person if you grow a backbone and thicker skin. If you want to remain this hypersensitized, hyper emotional, and overly easily offended, just pathetic little kid, if you want to continue this really stupid behavior, then in my estimation, you're going to make life harder on everyone in a destructive way, not a creative way. Is going to become increasingly expensive to exist in modern society. And ultimately you're going to weaken everyone and make everyone scared and soft. And make it much more difficult for human beings to interact with each other in a healthy way. And I'm going to break more of this down in part two of this video. Thanks for listening. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.